Okay, in the following examples, we are asked to use synthetic division to decide whether the given number k is a zero of the given polynomial. So let's just think about this. Where did this k come from? Well, suppose that it came from something that looked like this. If we're taking this and dividing it by x plus 3. Okay, so we've got our k value. All right, now one thing we could do, uh, we saw in a previous example, we learned about the remainder theorem. And we could just plug in this negative 3, and if we get 0, we know it's a factor. Um, so that's one trick that you could do, and you could do that probably right now while I'm explaining here. But what we're going to do is we're going to follow the instructions, and we're going to use synthetic division. And then we'll take a look at this one, and this one's actually quite interesting as well. Okay, so let's take our negative 3. Now, 3, 2, 1, 0, I'm not missing any terms, so that's we're in good shape. We're set to do the synthetic. So we're going to put 6, we're going to put 2, we're going to put 1, and 147. And we're going to start. I'm going to circle this. I've got my 6. I've got negative 3 times 6, and I get negative 18 here. So I have 2 plus a negative 18, which gives me negative 16. And then negative 3 times a negative 16 gives me a positive 48 and 1 plus 48 happens to give me 49 and then I've got a negative 3 times 49 which is a negative 147 and 147 plus a negative 147 happens to be 0. So the remainder here is 0 and we can answer the question is k a factor um, if it's a 0? All right, and the answer is that yes, it is a zero. Okay, it is a zero because the remainder happens to be zero. All right, so this is a factor. X plus three is something that you could factor out of here evenly. Okay, now let's take a look at the very next example. All right, we've got K equals two fifths. Now, we haven't really dealt, I think, with fractions much when we've been doing these in, in some of the previous examples. But uh, where did this come from? Well, remember that uh, in order to do synthetic division, you have to be dividing by a linear factor. So I'm going to go out on a limb and suppose this came from 5x minus 2. Because if you set this equal to 0, you get 2 fifths exactly. So that's probably where it came from. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's write in the 2 fifths right here and we're going to do a synthetic division. Now notice we've got four, we've got two, we've got none. We're going to have to fill in zeros for the missing terms. So we've got five for the x to the fourth. We don't have an x cube. Uh, we do have an x square. We don't have a linear term. And then we have the constant negative two. I'm going to circle the five and I'm going to bring that straight down here. So I've got 5, and I'm going to multiply it by 2 fifths, and that gives me 2. And 0 plus 2 is 2. Now I've got 2 times 2 fifths, and that's 4 fifths. Now the next part, the very simple arithmetic here, you can verify you know, on your calculator or by hand. We've got negative 3 plus 4 fifths, and we get negative 11 over 5. And then negative 11 fifths times 2 fifths gives you this negative 22 out of 25. And when you add these, you're going to get again the negative 22 out of 25. And then you're going to multiply that by the 2 fifths. So that gives you negative 4, uh, or I'm sorry, negative 44 out of 125. And you're going to take negative 2 and add the negative 44 over 125 and you should get something along the lines of I believe it's uh, 294 out of 125 so this is the remainder this is the remainder right here so is this uh, 5x minus 2 a factor is it a zero of the given polynomial well we found out that no it is not so remember if it's going to be a zero of the polynomial the remainder should be zero, as it was in this case. This one was some number and clearly not a zero 
of the polynomial.